Hey, what's going on, everybody? Switchfoot Clan here today, and we are doing a dual com. What is up, everybody? This is In Soccer Guy. It's been a while since I've actually done a commentary with Matt, so hopefully this works the first time. <laughs> yeah, and this is um this is a really sweet gameplay with a UMP forty five with suppressor and kick maybe. Uh, possibly eh, it's probably is. But anyway, um, what we're gonna be talking about today is um how the internet is growing and buying things off of the internet. Is it worth it compared to buying it off of like Amazon versus Best Buy? I guess you could say, and more of like the the gaming side related to it as well as the real world. I guess if there is such a thing. This is the real <laughs> world. <laughs> but anyways, Nathan, what is your opinion on pros of buying either games or? items from Best Buy. What do you think is good about it? Um, I like buying stuff from Best Buy off the fact that I will not have to wait for it unless I just buy an instant download, which you still have to wait like three or four hours for it to actually download. So you get to be there and get it immediately and you don't have and you get actually get a personal opinion on the game from someone else. Yeah, I really like that too and I like um uh, certain in certain stores, uh, this we're not just uh, just going in with Best Buy, but they do like uh, protection deals, like where you can pay extra for like game or software protection for scratches. But you're really not going to have a problem with that if you buy it off the internet. So, like, what I'm thinking is like, do you ever think like, say, the Xbox Live Marketplace will ever like? overtake or overthrow a GameStop? Uh, I don't think it will actually ever completely take over. There's just a certain feeling of when you actually go and get the disc and stick it in your um, Xbox or PlayStation or whatever system you will have in the future. Um, there's this certain feeling that you just can't beat when you just go and click on the game in your thing. And it, if you go and are a collector and you like collecting your games, you're not, you can't just go out and sell this um, digital copy of it you have that you can't do anything with so I see it grow I see the Xbox marketplace growing but I don't see it completely taking over yeah I'm thinking around the same thing um, a lot of people like to actually buy the game from GameStop some people like the actual verbal verbal communication they do when they go to GameStop I know I enjoy that aspect of it um, but like do you ever think that like say big companies like Activision or Treyarch um they don't actually release the game like their major title games on the day it comes out do you ever think it'll come to a point to where they will actually come out the same day that they do for like hard copies at GameStop and Best Buy I can foresee that happening just off the fact that um like the iTunes marketplace literally nobody goes to the stores and buys a CD anymore unless you don't own an Apple product or a type of music player that has a marketplace so um, I really um, just see them actually going and releasing it the same day just because they will get that I could see that them actually going and releasing it for a raised price because you don't have to go to the store and get it just to make some quick money so that's what I see happening Nathan, I just want to ask you this: Don't you get dizzy when you watch Osprey Gunners? Like I'm, 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 yes. about to, I'm, about, I'm nauseous right now. <laughs> it hurts. I'm not gonna watch it anymore. I do amazing in this game. Not gonna lie. I, I, oh, I did. And I you almost just shot yourself. Yeah, the Osprey I, I did shoot myself with the Osprey Gunner. But yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be different. I don't know. Like, I I like I would like the idea of being able to do. Uh, downloadable content the day it came out just on the fact that it'd be easier to do like for our channels probably we could do giveaways and be a lot easier but I'm not I'm not sure I I would I don't know how much they would raise the price it would it'd probably be like I don't know probably 80 bucks for just the game but you just don't get that same feeling and it would take forever like cause that's a four gigabyte uh, four to seven anywhere game so it would take forever to download as well so i don't know yeah i 
I've got great connection. When I downloaded Bioshock 2, it was a 4.6 gigabyte thing, and it took me like six or seven hours to download. So Yeah, so... And then you never actually get the hard copy, but then that comes in that whole new aspect of illegally sharing games, and then I think that's the one reason why it's still not... The marketplace still isn't a very huge widely used thing is because there's going to be a lot of uh fraud and illegally you know taking things because that's going to make it a lot easier you know for someone just to download it and then give it to all their friends or something well (laughs) how long we got 50 more points of domination and nothing to talk about giveaway time giveaway (laughs) What are we giving away, Nathan? Um, A disc of Black Ops 2 for anybody who will not be able to buy it. We're actually going to give you a $70 or about a $70 GameStop gift card to pay for that so you can pre-order it and get the Nuketown 2025. Um, We are giving away, um, I'm pretty sure we're giving away Xbox Xbox Live and PSN codes so you could go out and buy that game on the marketplace if you're a fan of that. Um, We're giving away a pair of turtle beach x11s or we might have already done that depending on when this video nah, comes out won't be, yeah they won't be giving away yet don't worry and we are giving away a rock steel capture card at some point in time so i think that's it we might okay. add more stuff in so <laughs> okay well since um we me and nathan have been uh looking at some uh, analytics and we've been seeing that what well, how long have we what's our average view like how many minutes uh, about a minute 40 <laughs> okay so Nathan, will you ask them a secret question that they can PM me to get an extra entry so we know that you actually watched this whole video? Um, what is his final um, KD at the end of this game? Oh, the, no, no, we can't, we can't do that because, oh. it's, because it's too hard to see. Is it? I, I can't even read it half the time, especially if the people that are in 240 or something watching it on 3G or something. That's going to be impossible. Uh... What what gun am I using? Or what what attachment? What did he get killed by his second life? Yes, yes, that's a good one. That's gonna be. That's not. Is it my second life? Yep. Oh yeah, it is my second life. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you guys would like to challenge us to use a different gun, uh, we'll try to get to it. We're we're almost out of gameplays. And if you would like to see a real life rage, we have a video for it. But we need how many likes? How many likes on this video, Nathan? Fifteen. Fifteen. Holy freak, Nathan. Or ten. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. See how many video likes we get. It'll be in the description. What yeah. we're actually going to do. But it. But it's crazy. It's hilarious. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna share it with other people because that's what good subscribers do. And we're talking with our hands, right. even though you. Oh can't yeah! Say that. Oh yeah! And oh. Loser. What a, what a loser. What a loser. He took my kill right here also. That's my sniper shot right there. And I did bad because I was sniping, so that's why I'm 15 and 5. Thank you, guys. You, they can't read that. You shouldn't have told them. <laughs>